Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the plains on the eastern side of the Exiled Lands creating a Stronghold, a military style encampment focused on defence. This build was suggested a few weeks ago by Dilly the Crazy Dragon on my Ketan House build guide, so thank you very much for the suggestion. This build will be focused on acting as a militarised stronghold for the Black Hand, with large walls and plenty of defensive positions. We'll also mainly be using reinforced stone through the build, though I will be using some black ice on the accents to contrast against the stone and keep the build looking imposing. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly we're going to start with the walls. This build can vary a lot in terms of size, shape and structure, and due to the fact that most of the area inside the walls is just plain ground, we won't actually be using a blueprint to build this structure, so it's very much up to you how big you want it. However, I do know that I want the walls about 4 tiles high with access to the top of them as walkways, and circular towers on some of the corners. One problem I ran into whilst building the walls was that the circular towers don't really work properly on straight corners. If you're intending to build this structure, it's best to start off with the tower first and then make the walls, as opposed to the other way around like I did, as then the build will be able to actually properly clip together. I did manage to make it work for me, but the build could be a little bit better and more secure if you start with the tower so that everything again clips together properly. Creating the towers themselves though is very easy, with a circle of 6 wedge foundations and then square foundations on the edge of every wedge, with a wedge foundation between each square foundation. That makes it pretty much as close to a circle as you're going to get. In the end, I built 3 towers, 2 at the front as our front facing defensive emplacements, and 1 on the right front side of the build, which will be a makeshift archers tower. The front two towers are solid foundations, however the archer's tower will need to have access to the battlements. So, as you may have guessed, my next step was to build the archer's tower. I built the walls up to meet the top of the battlements, running stairs up the side of the wall inside, using wedge ceilings and stair pieces, and then using regular and wedge ceilings to create a floor at the top of the archer's tower for the stairs to go onto. I used window frames on the stairs and around most of the top floor to allow the archers to shoot through the windows at potential attackers. However, due to the geography of the area, the archer's tower really only needs to cover a small amount of ground, as flanking the stronghold as an attacker from the archer's tower's side would be very difficult. It's quite a narrow piece of ground that is overlooked by the tower and the battlements, and is also pushed in by the other side by the mountain. I had to do some dodgy foundation clipping to make sure it would be easy to walk from the archer's tower onto the battlements, but it doesn't really look too bad inside, and it functions as intended. Next for the walls on the top floor. I used two doorways to connect either side to the battlements, with the rest of the walls being frames. I then did another tile of walls above those as solid wall pieces. The roof of this tower is the same as the roof I did for the gazebo on the Terranian mansion build, and it's very, very easy. I built six pillars two tiles high to mount the initial ceiling on, mirroring the layout of the floor below to cover the top of the tower. I then placed more pillars atop the inner circle of foundations to support the second part, I then used the black ice wedge and regular roof pieces to create the first part of the roof, then using wedge ceiling pieces atop the internal pillars to create a smaller ceiling, which I then mounted wedge roof pieces on to create a pointed apex roof. I then went back inside and removed the pillars. Next, after placing black ice fencing around the battlements at the front of the build, I built a connecting walkway between the battlements, allowing for passage from one defensive tower to the other. I then extended the sides of both front towers out just a little bit to make the entrance a bit more narrow and add some dynamic areas to the towers. I then built another overhanging area next to the previous walkway which will act as an ammunition storage area for the defensive towers. I initially used pillars to hold this area up, though I would later change this and instead create a structure underneath which you will see shortly. I then went on to create a double staircase at the back of the battlements, which will lead down to the ground, and created a foundation platform to the right of the stairs which will act as the recreation area for the inhabitants of the stronghold. This is a very simple design with a central corridor and rooms on either side of said corridor. 
the roof will go up two tiles high and then run flat to match the battlements. I then built some foundations at the back behind the battlements and used this area to create a large rectangular structure which will work as barracks, split into two rooms of equal size with a peaked apex roof going uniformly across both rooms. These rooms will serve as a prison and the barracks separately. Next, back to the ammunition storage area. I created an overhanging cover above the storage area and then proceeded to remove the pillars below to build a structure. I created a two story building with each floor two tiles high. Each room inside is designed with a lot of ventilation in mind to keep the rooms cool for the workers inside. This structure will become the workshop. Finally, I placed doors around the build in the appropriate places and built a small watch post near the entrance. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching from the front, the build is imposing with a large pathway guarded by palisades guiding people towards the heavily guarded entrance. The build is lit throughout with protected and bracketed torches and the occasional brazier. Entering through the gateway, the focus on defence is front and centre. The watch post presides over the front door, with the structure towering over anyone in the courtyard. Over in the corner we have a small archery range as well. Firstly though, we will look at the workshop. The bottom floor is our blacksmith area, where skilled workers craft swords, armour, arrowheads and various implements for the defenders of the stronghold.
The top floor is for crafting lighter armour, clothes and various other non-metal implements. Each floor has ample storage space. Next into the recreation area. On the right side of the build is the kitchen where food is prepared for the inhabitants of the stronghold. This is a fairly standard kitchen designed with a clear purpose. Across the hall is the small tavern, which again is fairly standard. It offers drinks to off-duty inhabitants of the castle, along with a place to sit and socialise with their fellow soldiers. Next to the Archer's Tower. This structure has a decent view of the surrounding areas and provides a clear path across the battlements. The top floor is designed to be manned by a few archers, allowing them to keep the narrow flank of the stronghold clear from attackers, whilst also being able to move around the rest of the battlements. Exiting out the right side door and heading towards the barracks, you can see the back wall covering the gap between the large rocks behind the build, providing extra security from attackers from behind. The roof of the recreation area doubles as a defensive platform, allowing defenders to watch over the courtyard or call archers from the tower to fire down onto attackers that breach the front entrance. Entering into the bedroom, this is a simple setup that accommodates a large amount of soldiers, with the beds intended to be used on rotation between day and night shift defenders. Next door, the prison is designed to house a maximum of four captured people, with each cell being a 2 by one size with a bed, window and a barrel to place food onto. Heading down to the front of the battlement, we will take a look at the ammunition storage area. This area includes a decent amount of storage, however it could probably be changed to offer more storage space if that was something you personally wanted in the build. Our first defensive tower is where the main trebuchet is located, aimed and sighted in to fire at approaching enemy forces. This platform, whilst of course also having the trebuchet, has plenty of access to siege cauldrons to prevent climbers from reaching the trebuchets or to stop attacking forces pushing through the gates by pouring hot oil down onto them.
On the other side, the secondary trebuchet is designed for exactly the same purpose, with access to an equal amount of siege cauldrons to defend the other side of the build. This stronghold is designed to be the ideal place to defend against attacking forces, and with all the defensive options and amenities located nicely inside, any siege against this structure would be a tough one. And there we have it, a Black Hand stronghold deep in the eastern plains in the exiled lands. Thanks for watching, this was a fun build to create as I haven't really made any structures like this before, but I did enjoy making it greatly. Thanks again to Dilly the Crazy Dragon for the suggestion, and a thanks to Doomshade on our Discord for helping me film some of the trebuchet firing clips. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like, and let me know if you have any suggestions for future builds in the comments below. We currently have quite a few build suggestions pending, but they're going to be worked on very quickly, so more suggestions are always welcome. Also, I'm going to start uploading on Wednesdays or Thursdays along with the regular Sunday uploads, with the midweek videos being a miscellaneous video that will generally be aimed at smaller builds using mods, so if you have any builds you'd like to see me create with mods, or any miscellaneous video ideas to do with building, or well, anything in Conan Exiles, do let me know and I can create that for the Wednesday videos. Don't forget to join our Discord through the link in the description, and also check out the channel whilst you're there. We are not far off 2,000 subscribers and we are having another great month in terms of views, likes, subs, comments, etc. So thank you very much for that. If you like the content on the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first to see the next video and join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.